Manas National Park, Assam, India. This is rhino country. Green grasslands give way to lush forests that grow upward into the imposing mountains of nearby Bhutan. The air is filled with the constant din of hidden birds and bugs, interrupted periodically by peacocks proudly strutting their stuff. It's here that some 35 greater one-horn rhinos make their home, but it wasn't always this way. Around late 1980s, early 1990s, there used to be about 80 rhinos. But then due to socio-political unrest, you know, we lost the rhino population. When law enforcement was distracted, poachers struck. They hunted rhinos to extinction in Manas National Park. But hope was not lost. Woodland Park Zoo has joined the International Rhino Foundation, the Indian government, and their partners to support a bold effort to translocate rhinos from nearby parks. One by one, we are rebuilding the rhino population in Manas. To protect this progress takes constant vigilance. Forest guards are the first line of defense. <laughs> Forest guards live in the park. They monitor and defend wildlife at all hours and spend much of their time looking for signs of intruders and illegal activity. With 235,000 acres to cover, even a well-staffed team of guards isn't enough. Rhinos rely just as much on support from the surrounding community. Former poachers have come forward to help. They work with the forest guards to protect the animals they once targeted. The school children of Manas start each morning with a pledge to protect local wildlife. The daily oath is a reminder that as they grow up, so does a new generation of rhinos taking hold once again. The rhinos' comeback is a second chance for us all. It is the responsibility of all of us to protect rhinos. So everybody has a you know role to play. If the protections are good, you know the community support are good, and we can minimize the poaching. I think the rhino population will flourish.